What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video, and in today's video, uh, we're doing something a little special. I haven't finished the Mustang yet, it's in the, it's in, still in the shop, still needs to be finished, but today we're in the junkyard, and what I've been doing, um, Car Mechanic Simulator just released, like, okay, so Workshop has been a thing on Steam, and they just finally, like, finalized it, and they're allowing things to be put into the game, uh, however they want. And the first thing I decided to do, the first modded car I decided to grab, um, was this one right here. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang GT, uh, I don't know if it's mod or not, like if that actually is. I don't think so, I think it's just a, like, restoration mod, I think you just added on the name. But guys, this is what we got going on here, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'll show you what it looks like right now. It's going to be looking nice and pretty by the time we bring it home. I'm going to run around the junkyard really quick to see if there's any other cars here. I loaded in a few. That's not one of them. Ah, here's another one of them. Here's another car I bought. This one right here. It is a yeah, 2017 Ford GT. $51,000 even being in a junkyard and absolutely destroyed. All carbon fiber on the inside. But so we're not going to be doing this guy today. Ooh, where are we at? We'll buy it. Hold on. We'll buy this really quick. Let's buy it. Um, parking. I'm going to run around really quick. See if there's a better version of ours. No, it looks like it's not going to be. Alright. So we're going to purchase this 1965 um, Mustang. And then we're going to come back to the shop and we're going to work on it. We're going to start with we're going to start with making it look nice because it's looking pretty bad right now. 17,000. Look at that. That's not bad at all. Um, we'll place you in the garage. Alright, so our garage is going to be full now, so I'll see everybody back in the garage. Alright, back here in the garage, guys. So our garage is pretty full right now. We got Mustang here, Mustang here, RX-7 here, 1500 there, and a Charger here. The Charger, though, is completely finished. 100, 100, 100. So we're going to take the Charger. We're going to move this to parking. Um, we're going to move this Smith to parking also. And then we're going to take the RX-7 and we're going to move it over to the garage door A. Let's move new Mustang over to car lifter 1. Alright, so guys, here we go. Here is, it is, 1965 Mustang. Um, next one we're probably going to do, I think I'm going to do a Mustang series here. Uh, we're going to do 65, probably 69, 70. Uh, I think there's a 78, 79, um, maybe see if they have a Fox body in the 90s, and then we'll do modern, we'll do like uh, 2000 to 2004, and then we'll do 2005 to 2009, and then 2010 and up. So we're going to be doing about 6 or 7 Mustangs coming up here, then we'll dip into that Ford GT along the way most likely, but let's see here, let's see what we got for uh, parts, because I don't know what these modded parts are going to look like, or be buying from the regular shop I'm assuming. If our shop would load, there we go. All right, so we'll just go to main shop. Let's type in 1965. Okay, maybe not 1965. Maybe go to exterior um, and then type in 1965. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's right there at the top. 1965. So you got multiple front ends. So front end B, regular, a couple extra bumpers. Ooh, we got some sick hoods. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, man, these actually, this looks really good. Dude, props to the mod creators of the, like, this car. This car looks fantastic. All right, so first thing we're going to do to make this car structurally sound is, hold on, let's see if there's a battery. Is there a battery in here? No. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Right there in the front. That was a weird position for a battery, but I guess maybe that's where it actually was. All right, so we're going to put the battery on the tender. Yes, thank you, thank you. Move the interior detailing kit over to garage entrance A. Uh, welder over here. I can never remember where my welder is. Alright, over A. Alright, so now we're going to make this puppet look nice and shiny. Alright, ready? So this is what it looks like now. Oh, look at that. It's green. What? I had no idea it was green. Okay, I guess it does stay there. Alright, but we're going to change the color of this car. Don't worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little heads. We're going to change the color of this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, some of the stuff is looking a little rough here. No bumpers, I assume. 
Got some rear windows. Take off the door. Uh, what else do we got to take off here? No front fenders, I guess. Uh, take off headlight. No bumper. S squat here. All right, no bumper. No front windshield. No door over here. All right, so not really much for us to take out. Ooh, look at that. It's got a little spot for the, uh, I was about to say the boot, but in, they got the spare tire back here. Um, have we done our interior detailing kit yet? I don't think we have. Where is it at? Where did it go? Oh, it moved over to garage entrance one. My bad. Uh, no. Move over to lifter A. Eh? Then we'll use you. Make that interior sparkle. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Whew. Alright, so I was reading that there might be different versions of this engine. Same with tools. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I think this is this is just the double overhead cam. Yeah, V8 double overhead cam supercharged version. 703 horsepower from factory engine. Alright, we're going to add some mods to this for sure though. Alright, let's get this guy. Uh, let's get some body parts back on it. What do we do? We save? Are we able to save any? Okay, we're able to save a few. Um, no, what the heck? Not move. All right, we're gonna go to body assemble. All right, so we can fit the door on, and I think it was the mirror. Yes. All right, now let's go. Let's go to our shop. Let's so. I think for mirrors we're gonna do these black mirrors. GT rear right fender. So are there fenders? Rear right. Okay, let's pick this up and see where this goes. Um, just scroll around here. What's that right there? Oh, that's what it is. All right, all right. So add. So that's the front left, so which means there's one for the rear. Where does it go add on? Oh, right there. Okay, so it's just the uh, it's the badge, it's the emblem is what they're is what they're trying to do. Okay, so it's by the other, it's by the front left fender. Oh, let's go. I can't tell the difference between these two. I think we're gonna go B. All right, and then for hood, we're gonna do this guy. Trunk, we're gonna do a trunk with a wang on it. And then we're gonna do darker, okay, there we go. All right, so. Okay, there we go, I just gotta paint it. Paint it and it'll look better. Um, and then we gotta get our fenders on. Ooh, see what it did. GT Mustang 289. All right, that's pretty cool. Add front end. Ooh, all darked out. Or all blacked out, not darked out. What am I saying? All right, now we need our front bumper. We're going to go chrome, darker chrome. Uh, we're going to need front left door. Uh, headlights. We just got to do regular headlights. Get that bumper. We'll get these taillights, the darker ones. And then for, we'll do the darker mirrors. I think we're gonna do a white and black scheme uh, Mustang here, everybody. All right, get that on. New South Wales, is where our license plate is. All right, let's let's go buy a license plate really quick. I'm um, probably gonna do. Uh... Okay, I think I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Iowa. Iowa, there we go. We're gonna. Do do two and we're gonna make it custom. We're gonna call it the Stang. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's one. We gotta run over here. Still gotta put all of our windows on, so don't let me forget that. Uh there we go. Oh, there's there no rear uh oh we gotta put the rear bumper on first. Yeah, there we go. All right, what are these? Oh, these, okay, that's part of the tail light. All right. All right, tail lights are on. Front left door is on. Let's 
Let's get that mirror on. Let's go get the other mirror on really quick, too. Uh, assemble mode. Okay, wait, no, we need to be disassemble mode. There we go. Alright, throw that mirror on. And now our hood. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's got hood pins in it and everything. Alright, now we're going to need to pick up every single window. So let's go snag every single window that they have. Uh, buy shop. All right, we'll get this one, this one. That's window A. Okay, there's another one. Door windows, door windows. All right, that's easy. Throw this together. Then next, we're gonna roll this sucker into the paint booth before we do anything with the tires. All right, there we go. Let me see that exterior. Global body condition 89. Uh, that's just because the interior is not quite there, needless to say. We have nothing in the interior. All right. Um, let's see now. What should we do? What should we do? Okay, let's just roll this into the paint booth and get it going. Uh, move car. Paint shop. Can't dyno it yet. I would love to get a base dyno. It says the base, uh, the base horsepower is 709 I find that hard to believe but I mean I guess that is what it says so we're gonna try and bump that up past 709 with a few mods all right let's go brightness all the way saturation zero. Oh, that paints everything Ooh. all right maybe we should go black Let's keep, let's get around here, see what it does. Oh uh, yeah, maybe we should, we should probably do black for this guy. Cause it, I don't want everything to be white. Yeah, let's go with black, black will be okay. Uh, no livery on it, that's, that's all right. Ooh, oh wait, oh, matte looks pretty good. Pearl, not really that good. Chameleon, not really that good. All right, let's do matte actually. All right, I really like the matte look of this car. All right, there we go. All right, now next, next is gonna be tires. Oh, look at that, they got a little, when I mean, they're not really attached, but those are pretty cool. All right, so next is gonna be tires. Let's move this over to our lifter A. Let's pop it up, take the tires off. I'm not sure if it has um, a certain set of tires on it right now or not. If it does have a certain set, or are those moderns? Okay, they are moderns. All right, I think we'll leave these on, actually. The modern rims. I think we'll just uh, take the tires off, split them, and get a, uh, a new tire on and, and repair the rim. All right, 290s. Dang. 290, 30 by our... Okay, by 80, uh, 18. Ugh. These are some pretty big, uh, pretty thick wheels. I'll double check and see if the uh, the fronts are this thick. 290s though. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much uh, thick all around. All right, pull these off. Take that tire, separate that one for me. Let's run over here. I right, know we need to make sure we can match these tires perfectly. So it's 290 by 30 with 18. All right, radius of 18. 290, 30, 18. All right, race tire. This one right here. Ooh, or vintage wall. Okay, let's do race tire right here. 18 with 290. All oh, 295. Okay, we'll do uh, we'll do a little bit of a squeeze on the tire. All right, take, install. All right, so those will work. All right, take the last guy apart. All right, there we go. Throw our new one on. Yep, that will fit perfect. 
All right, then we're gonna probably pop the engine out here once we finish these. I want to get a good look at what the car is gonna look like though. Um, install now, yeah. Now we can install all of them. Gotta balance these. Can't forget to balance the wheels. Don't want our alignment to be off or our tread to be unevenly worn. Install. Ooh, man, I can't wait to do the new, like all the new Mustangs. Just have every Mustang lined up here in the shop. That's gonna look fantastic. All right, one more. I know they uh, they did change the balancing time on on this machine here. They reduced it, but I still personally think they should reduce it even more because it takes uh, you could probably separate or join two tires in the time it takes to balance one. All right, come on, there we go. Alright, it's rolling back on me. And it's gonna go. Oh my gosh, this takes forever. Alright, balance. There we go. Twenty-eight thousand. I think I bought that for less. Thank you. All right, no more tires to balance. Never did look at these schematics before. Do I have anything to upgrade here? Oh, almost to 40. The discount in shops will be good. Examine 20 parts of the car for the first time. It's good to be lucky. Ooh, don't know what that means. All right. So I know we're gonna have to take off like all this stuff, but I just wanna see what it looks like with the rims on. All right, pop over to the other side. There we go. Probably should be doing the start pattern here. There we go. Hit it in the start pattern. Oh, dang it. Then that one, then this one over here suspension looks all right so I think it's mostly an exterior mod there we go all right let's drop this puppy down and take a look all right so minus obviously minus the interior of the car and the engine bay and the suspension uh, we haven't done those yet Make sure that looks good. What's that look like? 89%? Yeah, we need to put the body pieces in. Or the interior pieces in. But if you look at it right now, guys, I think this car is looking fantastic. I think... I can't remember who did this mod, but this is a pretty good... Um, pretty good mod. Pretty well done. All around, actually. I saw in the comments, it was a few things that was wrong with it. It looks like he has fixed them since then. But oh, look at that wheel fitment. That is... That's like perfect wheel fitment right there. All right, guys. But if you guys like this, if you guys want to see me do more Mustangs, hit that like button. Uh, write a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What's your guys' favorite year of Mustang? That's what I'm probably curious. I'm not really sure what mine is. I think mine might be 69, which is just four years newer than this one. Um, but there's a huge body style change between this one and the newer one. Um, but guys, we're going to be doing more Mustangs. Next video, I'm going to be doing all of the performance on this uh, Mustang here. We're going to see if we can push it up past 709 horsepower, which would be absolutely insane. That is a lot of horsepower for this old thing. Um, maybe even hit 1,000 or 900, maybe. I don't, I'm not even sure what it can do at this point. But guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.